Hey guys, so I have not filmed a sit down video on my channel in so long and I was debating whether I should do this on YouTube or TikTok. But I'm like, this is honestly an extensive haul. I should really just give y'all the full video on here. And a lot of stuff I had just saved, like I was waiting so I could just film everything. So I still have most of them in boxes and bags. Um, I've worn a few of the items already, but I put them back just for the sake of this video so I can unbox it with y'all. But this is Vintage Marcella. She's based in LA, so she always just pulls up to my house. It's so convenient. Um, and I got this stuff for trips I have coming up. These are some vintage Pucci shoes. They they look dirty because I'm not the first person that wore them, but they're cute. I thought they'd be cute for Italy. They're giving me like summer in Italy vibes. I haven't worn them yet, um, but this is the print up close and it has gold detailing on the back. And I also got another pair of Pucci shoes from her. This one came with the box and 39 these i have worn already in a photo but i'll definitely be bringing them to europe and wearing them again because they're so cute so these ones are blue they have a ribbon and um i'll insert a picture of me already wearing them somewhere here but i'll probably style these way differently in europe like with the dress something flowy so yeah they just have a wrap around your ankles those are really cute so those that I got from her shoes, these are some little vintage Chanel glasses. I keep forgetting I got these from her and I've had them for over a week because I would wear these just to run errands. I just like big shades when you just want to hide your face because I lost my other big black ones that I would wear to the airport. So these are cute. They're kind of see-through, like they're more so just a tint, not like a fully shaded sunglasses, but yeah, they're cute. I'll definitely be bringing those, probably wearing those to the airport. So that's what I got from her. This is a huge bag. This is all from Saks. So obviously Saks has different brands. I got multiple brands of heels from them. So we're gonna start off with this. These are some Renee's. I actually don't have any Renee heels, believe it or not. I only have some sandals. I don't know why when I got Renee's, I decided to get sandals and not heels. But I think at the time I wanted to wear flats with something and yeah, they're basically, just no heel but these i thought were really unique because i haven't seen these honestly they might be new um they're so beautiful i just wore them for the first time today to only take pictures in my building but i haven't worn them out yet so we're gonna be redoing that but these are gold i don't really have any gold shoes so this was perfect has like kind of a rhinestone detailing and the bottom is my favorite part but all her shoes have this um the glitter so yeah these are beautiful i don't know the name i know people are gonna ask me like where to get these i got all of these in person nothing um i'm gonna show you guys is online but let's let's see oh they're called beige satin metallic sunshine strash yeah i don't know if you want to see screenshot that that's the style number so those are beautiful. I can't wait to wear those. So the next pair of heels I got are Amina's. I have a few shoes from her. Um, I don't even remember which ones. Okay, yes, I do. I got these shoes to go with my bridesmaid's dress. So my aunt is getting married in Lake Como uh, next month. And I have like a pink dress for my bridesmaid's dress. And I wanted to do like, like a non-traditional matchy shoe with it. She even told me too. She's like, she wants everything to be very... Met Gala is a reach, but she kind of said that. She wants every outfit to be like colorful and unique. I got these shoes to go with it. They're so cute. And I feel like I could wear these even with denim, like a casual outfit. But I have the matching earrings for this silver detailing. So I'm going to wear these earrings, the pink dress, these shoes. And then I got a really cool bag also. So these are beautiful haven't worn these yet i'm definitely gonna just save these for the wedding all of my heels are in a 39 i have big feet and heels i don't like to play around with because i don't want my feet to look squished in those two more heels um this one is from bottega are these heels yeah they are they're called the stretch sandal lounge napa in black so these are kind of boring but the story why i got these is because i have these in nude and i wear them so much and they're the most basic pair of heels but i've gotten so much use out of the nude ones that i'm like 
I should get black because I wear them so much and I don't have like I don't really have a good pair of black heels all my black heels are really cheap like from little random fast fashion brands so they kind of look beat up but I got so much use out of my other style that I just got another pair I think these are cute they could go with a lot I wear my other ones with a lot so black you know goes with everything I think this is just a classic shoe to have in your wardrobe. This pair of shoes, why can't I remember? Oh, these are not heels actually. So these are a very random purchase and they're Chanel, but I'm gonna tell y'all why I got them. So I'm trying to change up my style. If you haven't noticed, I'm trying to be more classy and I don't have like a good pair of loafers. So there was some loafers from, I think Miu Miu and then some from, was it Dior? There was a few brands I had saved. Um, I got these in the store. I think they'd be cute to wear with like just some trousers or just a just like a classy outfit, a dressy outfit that you just don't want to wear heels with. Or even just, I don't know, you could make this casual if you just want to look more put together. But I think that loafers are just like a, a staple piece you should have in your wardrobe. I don't have any yet. And I had my eye on a few, but I like these because they have the Chanel detail on the front and then they have the little Chanel detail on the back as well I think these are adorable I'm definitely gonna bring these to Europe um I'm kind of scared to mess these up because I feel like once you scuff these no you could probably you could probably get these cleaned right yeah because I'm like I'm terrified and they look huge I don't know what size did I get in this they might just look really big these are cute these are actually a 38 but they must have fit me because I definitely tried everything on. I feel like this, this, like I said, I think this is a classic item that you could wear for years. Like this is never gonna go out of style. Chanel in general is never gonna go out of style. So I'm happy about this. Once I style it, we'll see my little outfit pics, but I've been wanting loafers for a while. I think it was worth it. So I have one more pair of shoes to show y'all. Um, these I got from the Hermes store and I've been wanting these for a while. My friend is over here, and actually, do you have the purple ones, the slides? Is no. it purple? Oh, no, you don't. Okay. Don't well, two of my friends have these shoes in different colors, and I've always, like, I've been wanting them. I just never took the time to go get them, and I hate ordering stuff like this. I like to try on, so I got two pairs of the Orion. Are they called Oron? Oron sandals. Oron sandals. I got two pairs of the Oron sandals from Hermes. One is just a plain pair I already had, but they my the ones that I already had are so dirty. So that is these, these white ones. Okay, the ones I have, they have like kind of a little circle detailing on them. These are just plain white, but my other ones are so dirty. And I'm like, I just need a plain white pair. I wear these so much, especially in the summer dresses. They just make you look more put together because I'm a slides girl. If I'm not wearing heels, I'm wearing slides. I rarely wear sneakers. Super cute, just some simple white ones. Haven't worn these yet. I mess up shoes so bad, y'all. Like, I cannot keep shoes nice. I just, I'm really rough with my with my shoes. Um, okay, and then these are the exciting ones. These are the ones I've been wanting. I wanted them in pink, but they didn't have pink, so I got the next best color, I guess, that was available. But yeah, they're the purple, fuzzy, they're soft. It's kind of hot to wear this. I feel like your feet might sweat, but I'll probably wear these like to the airport or I'm gonna still bring them. We'll see, but I've been wanting the fuzzy ones for a long time. Um, I thought purple was pretty, but I did want pink. So if I could still find the pink, I might still get those. But I think I'll keep the purple. And the last thing I got from Hermes is a bracelet. I, um, I have one bracelet from Hermes. It's just a white one with like silver hardware. But this one is rose gold. It's rose gold with pink. Um, they're a little complicated to open. I always forget. You have to like hold it down. Go like that. So I'll put it on. I'm not even like a rose gold. Go I'm not a rose gold person. But I don't know. The cashier. Or not cashier. The, um, the person that was helping me. The salesperson convinced me. They were like this one's pretty. And it's more expensive. You should get this one. I'm like, okay. But I'm normally like a silver girl. So I've worn this, I think, once already. Um, so I took off the plastic. But I think it's pretty. It's like a pop of color if I'm wearing something plain and I need jewelry. So 
yeah I'll just keep this on for now i'm about to show you all my last two items these are not shoes these are both purses so this one is from Miu Miu, and i've gotten so much use out of this already and it's only been like two weeks i've worn this probably like five times and then this one i haven't worn yet this is a little fendi bag that i've been wanting for a while also so let's start with Miu Miu. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen me post this. Um, I'm obsessed with this bag. Miu Miu is like, I think one of my favorite current designers. Not current, like they're a classic brand, but that I'm currently into. And there's some shoes I really want from Miu Miu. There's some ballet flat heels and then just ballet flats. But they didn't have them at the store. I was, I would have got them. They didn't have them there when I went. So this is the purse. I don't have like a lot of um, dainty white bags. But this actually still has my stuff in it because I wore this earlier. So it's a good size. They have ones that are even more mini than this. And that's the one I originally wanted. But at the time, I think I just didn't notice the difference. And I got this one and I was like, I'll just keep it because it's still a good size. It's not too big. It's not too little. You could fit a lot in here. I have stuff in here still. I didn't bother taking it out. I just put it in the bag to unbox it. But I have a lot of stuff in here. I have my cards, hand sanitizer airpods cash portable charger lotion like i have a lot in here so this is like a perfect size for me i think it's adorable i wear it just like with the handle and i haven't gotten it dirty it's like a leather material but i feel like it doesn't get dirty that easily because i've worn this so much already and i don't see a spot on here so this is so cute this is like my favorite purchase out of everything so far i'm a purse girl and i stopped splurging on purses because i used to buy so many trendy bags that you only wear like once and then you know you can't just keep wearing it you can of course but picture wise i felt like i'm not about to post this bag 20 times and it's like a bag with rainbow colored polka dots like i gotta stop buying stuff like that so both of these purses i could say are classic timeless pieces that will always match no matter when um so this one is fendi i have one other purse from fendi and it's like a fuzzy purse with the monogram print on it this one why do they have those oh so tight i actually haven't worn this yet i don't even think i've taken it out um comes in this little dust bag it's really little this is a mini mini purse so this one is just black they sell like straps that you could wear separately but i bought it as a clutch because i don't have a lot of clutch purses and sometimes you just want something little when you're going to dinner going out so i would wear it like this and i would hold it like that or they have them where you could wear it like this wait i don't know which way you're seeing it like this that's how they kind of showed me at the store you would hold it that way but i might end up going to get the strap because i feel like you would get even more use out of it and wear it a different way. They have like some gold straps so you could put it on your shoulder. Um, but the strap sold separately, y'all. Guess how much? I'm just give you a second. It was like $1,500 and this purse wasn't much more than that. Like why would the strap be that much? I thought that was insane. And they tried to convince me to buy that. No. Um, but this is so cute. This is adorable. Imagine like a little picture with it like that. So, those were the only two purses I got. That was it, y'all. So, I hope you enjoyed this little haul. I've been putting this off for a while because I just knew I was going to ramble, but I think I did pretty good. I was, like, testing myself. Like, how can I not over talk and describe all these items? I have honestly not splurged in a minute because I was just trying to prioritize my money. And the last two years, I think I just overshopped. And a lot of the things I bought weren't worth me buying them like they were a lot of trendy pieces so everything i've showed you guys i think i can get used out for years and years i don't think anything is going to be like even two three years from now kind of out of style i don't think i mean everything was pretty classic so hope you enjoyed this video like subscribe comment let me know if you want to see more hauls because i shop a lot i just don't really show my stuff also, I'm going to have all my links below in the description. If you want to go back and see the prices of an item, I'll try to have that listed. And I'm going to put the links to the items below too. I'll put the links to all the online ways you can buy them if you want to check that out. Or, I'm going to be honest with y'all, 
I know I probably already said this. I'm just gonna put the links below and I might not put the prices. So by the end of this video, you'll have figured out what I ended up doing, but you guys can still go check it out if you want. And follow me on TikTok because I'm gonna do more hauls on TikTok. It's hard to always film like an extensive video, um, but I already do have some shopping hauls on there that are shorter or just items that maybe weren't worth a long video. So if you follow me on there, you'll see more and yeah.